It was Danville Dan's baseball after dark on Friday night as the Dan's walked off the normal Corn Belters 4-3. But the day was anything but normal. The ball game was delayed by over two hours due to a breakdown of the Corn Belters team bus. The sun set and the players eventually took the field for a 9 p.m. start. A lot, of, a lot of craziness. I mean, their bus, I mean, it's unfortunate. Those things happen, I guess, in summer collegiate baseball. But, you know, our guys got to come with the mindset anytime we got to play, we play. It doesn't matter what time it is. And, uh, you know, we were fortunate to be on the right side tonight. It was a pitcher's duel early as through six innings, Jackson Kahn and Sam Whitting had not allowed a hit despite allowing a first inning run. On the other side, Normal's Bodie Gebink held the Dan scoreless through the first six, allowing only a bunt single to Jonathan Thomas. I mean, they're lefty. I give him credit. Tip my cap. Hey, he kept us off balance and did a good job. But I thought, uh, you know, what Sam came in, he kept him off balance too. He did a great job. Uh, first time we extended him out, second outing of the summer, and uh, you know, then we went to Landon and went in and closed the door. But you know, I, I like I like our pitching staff. I think we're, I mean, I think it's very formidable. Um, I like the arms we got now and uh, back, back in the bullpen too as well. The offenses would get underway in the seventh inning as the Corn Belters scored two to extend their lead to three to nothing. In the bottom half, the Dans were able to touch up Gebbink for two runs, coming on a two-run homer from Jack Ellis, his first on the season. I mean, he kind of jump-started us, got the offense going a little bit, and, uh, you know, definitely two off a of lefty. It's always good to see, and, uh, you know, he's a good player. Comes from a good program, John A. Logan, and, uh, you know, I'm happy he's with us, and uh, he's a physical presence uh, in, in the batter's box. And, uh, you know, like I said, one run, I thought we'd be able to, you know, we'd score more, and we did, and, uh, you know, that's just the mentality of our guys. We know we're going to be able to score more than one run tonight, and, uh, like I said, unfortunately, uh, you know, we scored four, and we were able to win the ball game. After a near-immaculate top of the ninth inning from Landon Tompkins, the Dans rallied in the bottom half. Jack Ellis walked and was lifted for debutante Paxton Kling, who would score on a ground out by Cam Swanger, tying the game at three. Yeah, I mean, that's what kind of, you know, opened it, and obviously we needed all hands on deck to be able to get the, the runs, and uh, we, we could draw the walk, and, you know, we didn't get down a bump, but that's something we got to work on, and then, uh, you know, we were able, like I said, to tie the game, or, you know, tie the game, and then able to get the big hit by Will and win the game. With two away, B.J. Banyan reached on an error and stole second. At the plate, catcher Will Portera stepped in for his first at-bat, having only entered in the top of the ninth. Yeah, we uh, we were supposed to play what six thirty or mm -hmm. seven, whatever our game time is. Then we get in their buses so seven thirty start. Then we talk to the people on the other team. They're like, we're not gonna be there till eight forty five. And I'm like, well, thank goodness I don't have to play this game. If there's ever a good day off, and we get the whole game, not doing anything, eight in, and coach Coach Morey's over there. He's like, hey, get your mind right to catch. And I was like, and then uh, I just went in there, caught, and get up there. Nerves go a little bit. I'm just like, man, just let's get out of here. Let's end this game. Portera grounded one up the middle, scoring Banyan from second to win the ball game, ending the Dan's marathon day. Well, that's all hands on deck. That's what that's what we talk about, and uh, his number was called upon, and uh, you know he was able to get a big hit and win the ball game. Uh, I hit first base, and everybody started running. And I was like, all right, we'll make this one, and I just took off. <laughs> I just I was gonna make it funny. Just keep running. I didn't want him to catch me. Good hard fought game. I mean, everybody, you know, is coming after the Dans. That's, I uh, told our guys, we got to embrace the bullseye. And, you know, we were fortunate enough to get the win. The Dans will look to extend their three game win streak on Saturday in a rematch in Normal. The club will be back home on Sunday hosting Illinois Valley in a division matchup. This was another Dans recap. I'm Alex Hines.